What up, what up? It's Swift here coming at you with another recap video for week six of CWL. We have One Hive 2.0 versus Emphatic Elite, bringing out the big guns and getting the job done, bringing it home for the One Hive 2.0 family, beating these guys 112 to 107. So we had a really impressive war here. Those are big numbers. Uh, the breakdown for this war was five Town Hall 11, 17 Town Hall 10s, 18 Town Hall 9s. Um, we ended up getting five 10 v 10s. Um, so we were at sitting decent at 26% there. I mean, I say decent, but that's really impressive. So, uh, like I said, we had a really fantastic war. So, um, our numbers really were, uh, up there this war and they kind of contributed to the fact. So let's pull up these war statistics here. We ended up having, uh, 19 town hall 10 or 10 V 10 attempts, um, and completing five, had 31 total nine V9s, uh, completing 17, that give, gave us about 55% here. Uh, of our 11 V10 dips, uh, we're sitting pretty at 90%, which is a really good uh, number to uh, be at. We want to be at 100%, of course, but uh, uh, can't always be perfect here. So uh, of our 10 V11, we were at 36%, so five of 14, that's actually not too bad. Um, so this is really impressive war all the way around. Uh, really excited for uh, One Hive 2.0. They really brought it home uh, for us this war. So um, we're gonna be showing off uh, some of these 10 v10s. Uh, I do want to show a few nine v9s uh, that I thought were pretty good. So um, let's go ahead and jump right into this content here. So take a look. First up, we have Papa Smurf first. Nick doing a Queen Walk Lava Loon attack on a relatively poor base design. This base was asking to get uh, Lalooned. Even though he kind of went against the current with that sweeper, it didn't really matter. Setting the funnel with that wizard, the queen's gonna walk from three uh, towards, or I'm sorry, 12 towards three. Uh, was successful in that funnel and she will never really end up taking that uh, air defense out on the outside delaying the uh, healers so that they don't go into the air defense range. Uh, so pretty smart there. Drops his king at the elixir storage and one test wall breaker and finishes the wall off with the two uh, two more wall uh, breakers. He's going to try to get a deep push into this base with a queen. Going to go ahead and drop the rage uh, here and I I don't know if it was missed or not, but uh, the wall breakers ended up walking around, but uh, he did open up all three compartments here. Uh, pulled the CC, however, the king ability was had to be uh, activated, and all the CC uh, aggroed towards the king, but the poison's going to make quick work of that CC, uh, and the queen's going to just snipe the uh, enemy archer queen out. So using that rage to kind of keep her up while the Tesla is firing down on her. Um, he will at this point start the La Lune, uh, portion and notice here, the sweeper, uh, is actually aggroed onto the, uh, healers. So they're not even firing at the, uh, the loons here. So that, that was excellent, uh, uh, timing or planned or unplanned. I don't know, but it, was, it worked out great here. So, uh, using haste, to send the catapult these loons to the base here we're gonna uh kind of group up on this last air defense and then uh, meet up on this last expo we do get another hound pop uh so it's gonna start early cleanup for us we're gonna pre-rage here for the last wizard tower and into the last compartment here the queen is fine taking out that enemy king knocks him down uh one two punch and uh, uh this base is pretty much toast at this point so get a lot of cleanup here and one loon left. Where are we going to place this loon? Are we going to swag it? Nope. He ended up, ended up putting it on that storage here. So uh, solid attack by Papa Smurf. Good hit. We got uh, two more Town on Nines that I want to show off here. So uh, let's see what we have here. Okay, so we have uh, Sports Buff 31. Hitting Alpha Kongmon with a impressive surgical hog attack here. Dropping a golem at three gets an immediate uh, Tesla pop and fanning these wizards out behind to create the nice wide funnel. 
does the same thing at six o'clock. Same goal here. Getting good value from these wizards. Drops his last golem in the middle. Um, and what we're gonna do, we're gonna trigger that giant bomb here and then uh, send in a test wall breaker. Finishing that wall off uh, with the rest of the wall breakers, we're gonna uh, send that kill squad up the chute and then uh, get a nice jump over to these wizard towers here. So we're gonna get a, a tremendous value from this kill squad. Queen's gonna aggro this hound as soon as she gets in range of it. Raging the bowlers and the king um, and using the ability here, uh, we throw down that last jump into that uh, cannon compartment to try to get as deep as we can into the base. Queen's still working on the hound here and we're trickling in these uh, hogs as we uh, had those Tesla pops. And then since I'm in at 12, and we're just going to work around the base at this point. Um, uh, we still have a lot of hogs up and uh, only about three more defenses left to go. And um, so cleaning up uh, on this right side where the town hall is, drops a wizard to that gold storage, uh, starts working at that uh, the builder hut at six. I'm sorry, nine o'clock. At this point, the base is pretty much toast. The main event's going to work its way around um, to that town hall, and uh, uh, we're just going to call it a day here. So, impressive tech by SportsBuff31. All right, uh, next up we have Hugh Sent with a Witch Slap. So, <laughs> yeah, sorry. Um, I love Witch Slap, so I wanted to show this attack here. It's uh, still so OP. Ever since those witches got uh, a buff, they are just insane. They do so much work. So this is a traditional witch slap where you send like four witches on both sides with two healers um, and then your main kill squad up the middle. So he pre-drops uh, pre his jump over that uh, storage compartment and the king will take it along with the bowlers. So we're getting a nice healthy push into the middle and we draw the CC. That is one deadly CC, baby dragon and uh, witch and then I guess just fillers or whatever. But uh, it's really deadly um, if you don't take care of it quickly. But uh, uh, these witches are going to make it, its way around the base. Uh, those bowlers are getting tremendous value from those bowler skips, uh, which is kind of just pushing the uh, core right along. Cruising right through this base. So... Um, not a very long attack. These these attacks are pretty re or relatively short. Uh, uh, and they just you know, the output of damage is just insane. Um, you just roll through these bases, uh, especially these kind of uh, elongated base designs. As long as you can access majority of the base with two jumps, uh, it's perfectly acceptable to do these types of attack. The air defense ended up getting the left side. Uh, um, healers on those witches, but it doesn't matter. Those skellies are tanking like a boss, uh, and we're pretty much the space is rip at this point. So, um, which side is my favorite tech because I'm a noob, but uh, love seeing it always. All right, so let's go ahead and get into these 10v10 hits. Uh, what we've been waiting for this entire video, right? So, we're, first up, we're going to take a look at Mursta versus Maddie. We're going to do a Double zap quake drag loon attack here. So getting a Tesla pop with the wall breaker He's gonna get uh, uh, That Tesla down with the bowler skips and the lab there um, Starting a bowler at 8 o'clock. He's also going to get uh, Two more structures there. So I'm gonna create a nice little funnel for this queen So the goal here is to take out those inner uh, air defenses with the zap quake and then uh, uh take out the 9 o'clock and 3 o'clock air defenses with uh, the queen and the king. So the wizard, uh, the archers had been placed earlier to give them time to work on those uh, little storages. Places two wizards to kind of help uh, uh, speed up this funnel here. So drops his king, gets that Tesla pop, and those uh, wizards will fan down towards that uh, air defense as uh, the king's working towards that uh, uh, compartment here. The queen does finally go down but she 
uh, does her job and does her job well here. So we got all air defenses down at this point. Uh, so it's time to start the drag uh, dragon attack uh, phase. Dropping a clan castle here with uh, all loons. Working on that town hall. Nothing really uh, uh, pressuring those dragons at the moment. Uh, drops three more loons uh, to help in the core. I think the initial goal here was at 9 o'clock to drop that dragon and keep him going to 3, but he does end up going into the core. Um, that is a heavily um, defended side, so they do get uh, uh, slaughtered on that uh, end. But uh, uh, we did drop a rage in the core to kind of work uh, towards that, uh, that other inferno. I do think that it was possibly a little early i'm not sure um but uh the inferno does end up melting all the troops on the uh nine to six side um but something happens here uh that uh is a contributing factor to the success of this raid the uh core troops end up going on the outside outskirts of the base uh, and works on the uh remaining trash so we only have three defenses up and only one that it could be a potential problem, and that's the Inferno. Um, the loons do fall short of the Inferno, but we do get a, a splash hit by the loon as it's falling down to the ground. So uh, three dragons left, or excuse me, yeah, well, I guess we did. Uh, baby dragon and two big dragons left. Uh, they do stay on the outside. So this base is rip at this point. Uh, uh, Mursta with a really impressive 10v10, but that's not all. Mursta actually got a six, p a six pack this war 10v10. So uh, next up, we're gonna show his other 10v10 that uh, he uh, he hit, and it was another dragon attack. So so pulling it up here, we got uh, Mursta's second uh, 10v10. Or was this his first? I can't remember. I did watch this one on the stream. It was a very solid attack. Same principle here. We're going to uh, drop a giant to tank this archer tower. We're going to get some uh, uh, bowlers down. Try to get some good value from those bowler skips. He does actually get the external air defense with uh, this bowler skip. So his poor design there on their part. I'm not sure if they thought that through too much. But... Uh, um, we're gonna go ahead and try to get these uh, other air defenses taken care of. Um, tanking for the queen, we, he drops two giants down, get, triggers a giant bomb, and the queen works her way towards that Tesla. Uh, does a start a early funnel at 12 o'clock with the king and some minions. Uh, queen's getting low, pretty low here, so she's gonna pop her ability here on this air defense, and there it goes. Uh, funnel's been set, air defenses have been taken care of uh, for the most part. And the dragons have no place to go but up through the base here. We do have a golem and uh, loon CC, which could cause a potential problem if the dragons get hung up on it. And we are also fighting a sweeper here. So we're going to rage this compartment. Get the town hall, the inferno, and the uh, enemy archer queen here. Uh, we're under fire of a uh, expo at this point. But the loons kind of get sidetracked and uh, the sweeper kind of takes hold of them. But we got a big pack of loons under uh, and smidge of hill um, on a couple loons and the uh, dragons. And we're going to use our last bit of rage here on this left side. Uh, we're going to work our way towards that last uh, inferno tower. Uh, if you noticed, he did something really smart here. He used his archer to draw the CC out so that the uh, dragons wouldn't get hung up. Uh, it's super important. If you can think to do that. Uh, in any raid, it'll be highly effective and you'll be very successful. Oh, excuse me. Um, perhaps I was on my phone a little bit too long today. Uh, I definitely need to go find my charger here shortly. <clears throat> but solid attack by Mercer. This one is actually uh, one of my favorite uh, attacks of the, the entire war. Um, actually panned out a little bit better than uh, the last one. But uh, impressive six-pack, man. Yeah, I'm not really sure why I didn't fast forward through this, but uh, there we go. Six pack for the man Mursta. Next up we have uh, Warble vs. Howard Swim with a uh, heavy La Loon attack. Um, so this was developed really nicely. Uh, he will drop a pre-haste at 6 o'clock to take out this enemy archer tower, as you see now. 
and fan out a couple wizards behind at the gold mine and gold storage to so create a funnel. Whole goal here is to uh, uh, drop the king at that elixir storage and break into that uh, cannon compartment. Once the king uh, takes up that storage and moves up, uh, he he'll be able to drop his queen and uh, move into that compartment as you can see now and take out that uh, archer, or, excuse me, the inferno tower. Anytime you go with a heavy Laloon attack uh, and you don't have enough camp space for a, a decent sized kill squad, um, you really want to figure out a way you can score as as much uh, priority defenses as possible. And uh, Inferno Tower ranks up there on the highest of that. You might run into some pathing issues uh, uh, if you leave it standing with uh, while you're combating with the air sweepers and whatnot, so it's important to take those structures down. Gets this last wizard tower down with the queen, so tremendous value from these uh, heroes. So good job there. Um, the loons have nowhere else to go but that one corner at three o'clock. So one haste will take care of all these loons. Um, so the funnel was great, uh, and he throws his uh, second. Uh, Lava Hound at 12 o'clock with the loons behind. Um, doesn't get a tremendous value from the Rage and the Hill and the Core, so it's kind of wasted there, but uh, we have plenty of haste. Uh, overlapped some there, so uh, we, we could have done better on our spell placement, but uh, a three star is a three star, really, and this is a really, really good raid. Look how many loons we have left. Uh, not a care in the world, and the Queen actually takes out that last hound, so we'll get, we've got some more pups for cleanup here, so... Um, impressive attack, like really solid, solid, uh, uh, attack by Warble here. And we got cleanup all over the place. So this base is pretty much toast at this point. Uh, so good job, Warble. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull up uh, another 10 here, and we got uh, Quark Dom versus Vortex. This is a bit of a Hail Mary in that it was planned in like 10 minutes left in war, so solid effort and, well, solid execution, I, I guess. Um, so looking at uh, the queen, we start a queen walk at 9 o'clock. We're going to try to walk her up here, creating that funnel with the wizard and the golem at the uh, outside defense structures. Uh, does the same thing over at 6 o'clock uh, and uses his witches to uh, begin that ooh, excuse me um, funnel on the right side. Now that the bowlers have cleared those outside structures, uh, we have free reign to the middle. We did miss, well, it was a test breaker, so uh, we actually end up breaking into that compartment and to get a decent jump here. Bows have nowhere else to go but in, so we're going to get uh, that Inferno Tower. I'm uh, going to go ahead and drop that second jump spell and uh, heal before we get into that uh, Inferno range. Queen's still up, working on that uh, enemy CC, so it's good that she brought it out so those boulders could get as much value as possible. We did rage um, before we got to the Inferno Wall, um, and we'll end up taking out this uh, uh, Expo with those bowlers oh well i guess not uh the king will end up taking it down but uh inferno goes down uh, by the king he ends up busting in that wall um and the queen's still up almost full health here walking around the base uh, uh with healers so at this point the base is it, it's just a matter of time um the witches did a lot of work we had one as you can see in the core um doing quite a bit of uh uh, work on these uh, uh, walls and, and defense structures. So, notice the mortar actually, and well, the skellies rather, they aggro the mortar shots. Uh, so, I thought that was pretty neat here uh, as the witch uh, works on that last air defense. That bowler at the uh, bottom is pretty much useless, but uh, uh, Quark Dom gets the job done. Uh, impressive attack. It was. 
planned in, like I said, 10 minutes. So, um, very impressive attack. I, I, I had a lot of fun watching this one. So, we do have one more hit after this. Um, that was uh, also another 10v10. So, uh, let's go ahead and get a, a look at that one as well. Next up, we have Nina versus Tim the Titan with another three star 10v10. So, uh, I think the goal here was at uh, 12 and 3 to kind of funnel in towards that town hall. Um, so, we're going to bring kind of a mini kill squad with these. Um, uh, the Valkyries, I'm getting a little tongue tied here. Starting in a queen at that gold mine, we're going to kind of push in uh, to kind of help these minions take care of uh, uh, this funnel a little bit better. Queen's actually going to get the storage and the army camp, so that's going to help out tremendously. Baby just doing work on that cannon. Um, excellent call there. So, taking out that wizard tower, that's man, he's just getting a tremendous value from this. This queen. So we go ahead and pre-drop the uh, jump spell. King's going to go out on the town hall and throws a, uh, four Valkyries onto the town hall to kind of help out. So as they um, finish up the town hall, they're going to uh, aggro on into that cannon and draw the CC. Here we're going to use the king ability early, uh, maybe trigger any traps or bombs so that the uh, Valkyries can push in. Um, and we poisoned uh, the loon so that that would uh, be taken care of early. Starting with the uh, La Loon portion at 3 o'clock, we're going to work our way towards that first Inferno Tower. And these uh, air defenses are set up in perfect uh, position uh, for us to work around this base uh, clockwise uh, with these loons. As you can tell, he's been kind of surgical with it, being real patient, uh, and that's what the, this this type of base calls for uh, if you want to be successful. So we're kind of working against the sweeper here, but we're under haste, so it's not going to matter. Raging that last Inferno box, uh, we got a mass amount of loons. They get a huge uh, uh, value from that uh, rage as they split and go out to uh, multiple corners. So we got uh, two defenses left up, a lot of loons uh, to clean up, Uses, uh, using his archers to draw the hound out to the uh the west wing uh, ends up popping the hound but uh we have plenty of minions and pups to take care of that uh with no issue whatsoever um so at this point it's just clean up um impressive uh attack uh by nina de Brief. i guess that's how you pronounce it sorry if i butchered your name buddy These 2.0 guys are holding it down. As we're wrapping up the video, I just want to say well done 2.0 for doing such a good job this war. Uh, really set the pace and moving forward to week 7 of CWL. Uh, we're really going to be the team to beat and I really think that we have a good shot at winning. Um, so keep up the good work and uh, uh, keep this momentum going and it's going to be fire. So... Um, also, if you like the video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Uh, if you're ever interested in joining the One Hype 2.0 family, check our clan description out and uh, join our Discord server and we'll get you set up. So thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for next week.